Good morning, buddy. How are you today? Hi. Hello. You smile for mommy this morning? Are you still a little bit tired? Oh dear. Good morning everybody. Your eyes do not deceive you. I am actually vlogging today. I know, shock horror. Um, yeah, last week was just a whole mess of phone problems, emotional problems, okay. health problems. So yeah, I didn't actually like film That's anything at all for Look. the week. Um, but yeah, I am back and I'm actually gonna try and stick to it this time because I've just, yeah, been really on and off recently with feeling a bit under the weather. Um, so today we have a meet up with Susie from Susie Vlogs. Um, she's doing like a mummy meet up thingy at a soft play we go to. So we are going to head to that this morning. Um, I don't know if maybe we'll hang out afterwards. I'm not really sure. We just haven't really actually spoken today because it's quite early still. I don't even know if she's awake. So yeah, that is the plan for now. We've just had breakfast. Magnus, of course, ate half of mine. Um, I just had some melon slices and he had frosties with melon slices. Um, he doesn't usually have frosties and stuff, but he's been pretty good recently. And yeah, I thought he deserved a little treat. <laughs> waiting well we're just outside the stay and play ready to go in and well the soft play whatever we're calling it and I just caught a Zapdos on Pokemon Go like I cannot explain how freaking exciting that is I love Zapdos it's like amazing I mean my favorite is Moltres but Zapdos is like a close second and I'm team instinct so yeah it's really really awesome and um, it was on this new like research thing I got enough to like open a crate and there was a freaking Zapdos in it. Oh, so excited. And um, yeah, me and Magnus are having a little bit of a Pokemon hunt on the way here. And yeah, we are here now, so I'm gonna go. Um, I'll film what I can, but obviously that's dependent on children running around and stuff. This is actually Tristan's score from the last time we came here. How cool is that? <laughs>
apologies for the busy road and all the traffic noises but um, yeah we are out now um, it's like 5 past 12 and we got there for like half nine so yeah that was £3.50 well spent um, as you probably just saw we had lunch there as well there wasn't really anything like Slimming World friendly there so I got ham, egg and chips because that seemed like the safest of all of the options um, so I probably will lower my sin intake to 10 at the most for the next couple of days just to make sure and yeah just one meal out of however many in one week shouldn't do too much damage I just really got to stay on plan that's the weekend um, just to start off his exam I can't remember if I said if he was actually in an exam but yeah he's finished he thinks he passed so that's something and yeah I'm I want to say that we're going home but um, Magnus is I think quite tired so I think I'm just gonna have a little mooch around like Asda B&M See if I can get him to sleep. These socks are amazing. I love them. But unfortunately, half a size are too small for me. They're kids' socks, so I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing that they're too small. But they're so cute, like little Deathly Hallows ones. I love it. Like, I know you can get like Harry Potter socks in Primark, but I don't know, these just seem a lot cuter. How are you doing? All good? Are we not going to have a nap? I was very tired but refusing to sleep. I thought shopping might bore him to sleep but apparently not. So we are almost home, almost in town and he has finally given in. It's been like almost half an hour but he's finally asleep. How cute he is, the little thing. We are home and uh, Magnus is fast asleep finally. Um, there is a reason this box is here by the way. Magnus has taken to climbing on the um, like thing in front of our window and obviously like we don't want him doing that when we're not around in case he fell off. So we've put that there to stop him and it seems to be doing the trick so far. But yeah, we're home. Um, I should be doing some tidying but I'm exhausted <laughs> after this morning. So I'm just going to sit and watch an episode of Once Upon a Time first. Um, Tristan is on his way home so once Magnus wakes up or when I finish once upon a time I, I can just get on cleaning and he can watch Magnus. My Magnus seem really missing him. Well I've heard it all day dada dada dada. So yeah it'd be nice for them to have an afternoon together and I think Tristan needs it because obviously exams aren't the most relaxing of things and, and Magnus is in a good mood. He's lovely to play with so yeah that's the plan now. Um, I have actually tried watching Once Upon a Time in the past. Um, I got to like halfway through season two and just gave up. But I figured like everyone in the world seems to love it. So there must be something I'm missing. So yeah, I'm watching it from the beginning to find out what it was. I will, I suppose I'll let you know when I make my final decision on it. And we're out, this package came. Um, I'm going to open this up when Magnus wakes up because it's something for him. And I'm really excited to see his face because I think he's going to love it. Is it Eagle Piggle? So Magnus has recently started getting into the night garden and his favourites are Eagle Piggle and Oopsa Daisy and the Tommy Boos. So I thought I'd get him a little Eagle Piggle too. This was like a fiver, if not less, off of Amazon and it's pretty cute actually. I can't stand in the night garden, but yeah, at least it's cute. What do you think? He's just woken up, so he's not quite with it yet. Oh. 
Did you just throw away Goofy Goo? That's that gonna be home soon. Someone love his dad, dad. What about mummy? What about mummy? And a beautiful little face. So, um, it's a while later. Yeah, I haven't filmed in a while. Um, I've been trying to sort out Magnus's bedroom. And I think we're slowly getting somewhere, slowly, with the ever-ending battle. So this is what I have been doing all afternoon. It's so much nicer. Um, obviously, I've got like a couple of odd socks there. There's still a couple of bits missing from this, which are probably hiding in the lounge somewhere. And up here, we've got this, which is missing one of the drumsticks. This is missing a couple of bits. And my laptop's just there because I was listening to Harry Potter. So yeah, we have a nice tidy bedroom. I'm not really sure what to do with all these toys. I'm not sure I like them all on his bed like that. And also that's like what happens once he goes into bed. But it'll do for now. I still really love this bedding. It's adorable. Probably do a change soon though. So it'll be dinos. And I think this corner could do with a bit more work. But um, I'm not really sure what to do with... Uh, Ball pit there. I don't know if it would look better, maybe put it more in the central of the room, but for now it's just going to be there because it's sort of out of the way and you don't really see over there anyway. And um, that still stayed as it was. It's amazing. And then I can just come more toys now. Apparently, I'm giving you just a little room tour because why not? I've only been living here for months. <sighs> I've just taken a load of cardboard to. Um, a local recycling point. We don't have like any recycling facilities down our road, so but there's one like five minutes away, so I've just walked to there. And yeah, it's not as easy as you think, you know, carrying a few boxes down to recycle, but um, you know, they're pretty light, but no, my hands feel like they've been ripped in two pretty much, and I'm exhausted. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Like it's like boxes from where we moved, stuff from Magnus's birthday still, just because it takes so much effort getting them to the recycling point. That we just haven't bothered. But yeah, I'm on a real mission to get our place sorted now, like how I want it. And, you know, like a family actually lives there instead of just some comes in and chucks some stuff around. Like, yeah. So I'm just on my way home now and hopefully dinner's gonna be ready for me when I get there because I'm starving. And so here is my dinner. We got salmon with linguine and a tomato sauce with like onions, peppers. Various herbs and spices. And various herbs and spices in it. Magnus is having the same at the moment, he's just munching on some spaghetti and Tristan's having fish and chips because he doesn't like salmon. So Magnus is just watching in the night garden. Um, as you might guess me, Eagle Piggle earlier, it's like his new favourite TV show. He usually laughs at it but he's just sat watching it quietly today. <laughs> Typical for the day I'm actually filming him not to laugh. I'll try and film it if he does laugh though, because it's adorable. And it's like the only reason that's worth watching in the night garden. But also because it's just that little face. <sighs> Somebody's chosen his teddy for bed. He's taking in the oh. snowman that we got him at the start of Christmas. Yeah. Is your yeah. snowman going to bed on a beautiful, beautiful sunny night? Why would you not have a snowman? If that's what you want, that's what you get. So, Magnus is in bed. Um, I want to say he's asleep, but he's not yet. <laughs> and putting him to bed is always quite interesting because he tends to just sort of run around, not usually giving much sign that he's tired, and then the minute we put him to bed, just go kind of crash out. <laughs> so, yeah, usually when we put him to bed, it can go either way. But it was past his bedtime when we put him in, so hopefully he will 
that's all done and go off before we know it. Um, and now I need to film my Spoon World update for this week as, well hopefully by this time it will definitely be up and you'll have seen it. So yeah, it's like I said, it's, yeah, it was supposed to be up about two, three hours ago and I haven't even filmed it yet. Except really it's been like an hour, I'm probably exaggerating. So I'm going to go film that now and it's going to be up a little bit late. But again, this is like yesterday, so yeah. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be vlogging again. I've got a couple of things on tomorrow that might not be like camera friendly. So I'll just see how it goes, I guess. Bye.